Hello. Welcome to this brief overview of IC Validator Workbench. IC Validator Workbench is a powerful, high-performance, hierarchical layout viewing and analysis tool. It can quickly load GDS, OASIS, and LEFTF layouts from small IP blocks to full chip databases. It is tightly integrated into the IC Validator physical verification flow, allowing the user to efficiently view layouts, set up DRC and LVS runs, kick them off, review the results, and edit the layout to quickly close the sign-off loop. In this video, we'll cover starting IC Validator Workbench, configuring the layout view with the Tech Files option, running DRC with the ICV Launch GUI, reviewing the violations with ICV View, and launching DRC again to validate the corrected layout. We start by launching IC Validator Workbench and loading the layout. Once the layout is open, we can load layer names and configurations from various tech files using the Tech Files button in the upper right. Using the CC option, you can load a custom compiler or Virtuoso tech file. I'm going to load a Virtuoso layer configuration. We can browse to the directory containing the tech file here. Select that, leaving the first option blank to get the default display. I'm using layer config.tickle as the output file and making sure that import output Input configuration is checked so that the settings are imported into the current layout. After clicking OK, we have the layer names loaded and they are configured according to the Virtuoso display file. An ICV DRC or LVS run can be started easily from IC Validator Workbench using the ICV launch tool. Click on the ICV Launch button and choose the DRC mode from the drop-down. A window will appear which already contains the layout, top cell, and format information from the viewer, but we still need to give it a DRC run set file, which we can navigate to here, and it will be inserted into the GUI. If this is a configuration you'll use often, then you can save it as a template from the file menu. Make sure to keep the Start View After Run button checked so that View will open automatically once the run is complete. Click Execute to start the run. And while the run is going, you can see the ICV output in the log window. Then View opens automatically and loads the results.